Hello everyone, this is Brian's Tech Tips and today I'm going to be talking about radiators. Uh, not really a confusing subject at all, but there are actually quite a few features that some people just don't know about. I didn't know about them until I started googling radiators. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is the flow. This is a cross flow radiator. All that means is it goes from one side to the other. It goes from right to left. Just super easy. You can see how these lines right here, those where the coolant flows through. So it goes right to left, but that's all that means. Now a down flow radiator means the coolant comes from the top down. So these tubes right here would be facing the other way. I don't know if there's any advantages or disadvantages to the either one of those designs. Sorry, I can't help you there. Next thing I wanted to talk to you about was a dual pass radiator. Now, what that means is the coolant will go over here and then it will make a second pass through the radiator, which just means it gets a lot more time in a lot, the coolant gets a lot more time in the radiator. It's a really nice feature, but it is expensive. This is a single pass radiator. All that means is fluid comes from here to there. Dual pass means it kind of just makes a nice shape and stays through the tubes longer. Awesome for higher horsepower engines, very efficient. I believe there's even a triple pass radiator, which just means the same thing, except it makes even another pass. Keeps the coolant in the radiator a lot longer, able to cool it even more. All right, the next thing I wanna show you and discuss is tubes. So these are your radiator rows. This is a two row radiator. See how there's one and two. Then in a lot of the radiator descriptions, you'll see it'll say this is a two row radiator with one inch tubes. Well, this is a two row radiator with one inch tube here and 0.5 inch here. So it's a total of 1.5 inches. The larger the tubes, the better. Now, there are also three row and four row radiators, but it can be very deceiving. Now, you want the tubes to be as large as possible. That way the air can flow over the tubes, or over the rows, sorry, and dissipate that heat. Now, if you have, let's say you have a four row radiator and each row is point, or a quarter of an inch, 0.25. And then you have a two row radiator that has two one inch rows. Well, that's the exact same thing. You're dissipating just as much heat with that. So a lot of it can be a marketing scheme. Now, if you have a four row radiator and all four rows are one inch, then that one is definitely going to cool better than the two row radiator with one inch tubes as long as the air can get through it because the four row one inch tubes would be a very thick radiator and hard to pass air through it. On most cars, two one inch tubes is gonna suffice and you shouldn't have any problems. The bigger the tubes, the better. All right, now we're going to discuss the fins. So the purpose of these fins is to tr transfer the heat from the coolant onto these little guys so that the air can pass through and take the heat away. Pretty s simple. Like right here, this line right here is one of the tubes that the coolant passes through. Now, before I knew anything about radiators, I thought that every little one of these guys had coolant passing through, but all these guys do is heat transfer. They're transferring the heat from that tube onto these fins and letting the air go through it so it can dissipate the heat. Really simple concept, works perfectly. Radiators really haven't changed in the last forever. 
So that's pretty much it for radiators. If you have a higher apple or sorry, a higher horsepower engine, I would get a dual pass radiator, which just means the coolant goes through the radiator twice. And if you also have a higher horsepower engine, the larger the row, the better. If you get a four row large tube radiator, that'll probably work perfectly. Also in the description, usually it gives a horsepower number so you can know kind of how much or how well that radiator work will with your application. A lot of radiators go to about 800 horsepower, some go 400 horsepower. You can have custom radiators made for you and just tell them what application you're running. Personally, I think the bigger the radiator, the better. Now, I'm going to give you my tech tip. So if you decide to upgrade your cooling system, I highly, highly suggest flushing the system. I am upgrading to a two row radiator with one inch tubes and a high flow water pump. So I decided to flush out the system. The engine is 50 plus years old and I honestly, the coolant looked perfect. I didn't think much was gonna come out. This was just distilled water. This was clear. Now it is completely black. I am very happy I did this. I highly suggest if you have an older engine and you're gonna upgrade the cooling system or if your car's overheating, I would honestly try to flush the system out with Thermocure. This is what I did. I completely got out all of the coolant, only had distilled water in there, and then I added Thermocure. I would start the engine up every day, let it get to operating temperature, which was about 200 degrees, shut it off, and I did that for about four days. Now, on the bottle it says you can absolutely drive with this stuff in your system. Honestly, my car is having a little bit of maintenance done, so it's not really drivable. So I just started it up, let it get to operating temperature, and that's what came out. This was, I believe, the car running for approximately 30 minutes. It's disgusting, and it smells even worse. The Thermocure is just a light brown color. It is not black like that. I am very happy I did it. I'm going to put a link in the description and go read the reviews on Amazon. Like some of those people had the nastiest stuff come out of their engines. I highly suggest it when you're driving a classic car that has a 50 year old engine. And I also highly suggest it if you're going to upgrade your cooling system. There's nothing wrong with getting all the crap out of it. It will make your cooling system so much more efficient. Remember, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you guys. Have a great rest of your week.